Now is the time of the great unknowing. Unknowing means two different things, doesn't it? There's the literal translation of un, as in no longer, knowing, as in having a specific idea that one is very confident in. That learn a very particular and powerful trick. Those molecules learn the trick of making copies of themselves. And those knowledge is, is sort of a, a confidence in an, an idea, a story, a map. So unknowing in the literal sense is letting go of those ideas and stories that we previously had so that we're open to new ideas that would serve us better. The other idea of unknowing, other meaning, is not knowing. Un as in not knowing. Unknown. The unknown is something that we are not aware of. Right now, we're not aware of so many things. We see all these statistics and data and information coming in, but it's not reflecting reality very well. We know that there are people who are not being heard in some form or another. We know that these centralized sources of this information are oversimplifying things to make themselves look responsible or just because they don't know any better. So now is the time of the great unknowing, the great unknown and the great letting go of what was previously known but is now no longer useful. It's a time of uncertainty. <laughs> A time of a lack of confidence in what we believe. So as we are letting go, we open up our awareness, our curiosity, our ability to take in new information with more detail, more attention to the variability of the information. Yes, it's possibly scary to let go, to not know, to be uncertain, to be lacking a confidence in what we thought the reality was. But it's also an opportunity. An opportunity to grow our knowledge, our stories, our collection of information to map reality in an even better way than we ever had before. So I wish you well in letting go, in unknowing, and finding a new way of knowing. Namaste.